And so it came to pass. But poor Johnny never discovered the truth behind the Pendingsbrook case. Do you have any um, stuff, files on the hands for case? Nothing yet, sir. Difference can find the evidence. Neither can then you can fingerprints. That's a shame. Old lady too, I think. Any clues on motives? Um, that's what I was that's what I was looking into. Are you alright? I'm fine, just a little distracted as well. I promise this won't take long. Now about Miss Fox. My grandma's there. I was meant to visit her yesterday, but when I got there she was... It's alright. Now does she have any contacts or friends? No sir, she hasn't been in contact with anyone since last year's rob robbery. Not even you? She thinks I'm a spoiled brat. She, she thinks I need to go to boarding school. She hasn't trusted anyone but the police. Perfect. Sir, we have a breakthrough. You gotta be kidding, right? No, all. Oh. Forensics believe the murders are conducted with poison. Very peculiar. What made them come to that conclusion? Traces of cyanide in the blood. Only officers or in the force or army could have access to such a compound. I trust the men in this division with my life. Get forensics to search every military base in this area. Thank you, sir. We have to clear your name. It's hopeless. There ain't any other suspects. Wait. Now I might be wrong. But consider this. Forensics couldn't find any unusual prints. They all seem to be linked, like they were related. Like that boy. And then the poison that was Sporadically spread it. Just don't understand. Let's go. Got me. Damn it, Johnny, what did you do? You gotta go. I thought you'd back it. There were things that you did. Oh, you know, I'm 
still rolling that move. Fuck's sake! Damn it, Jack, what did you do? I'm not 